So I've created an app here which records a sound when you click start recording, stops when you click stop recording and stores that sound file according to whatever has been typed into this text box. I'll show you what that looks like behind here. So I've just got a sound recorder and when I start recording we start, when I stop recording we stop and when after the sound is recorded I store the value in the tiny DB, tiny database and the value that I store is the sound itself, that's the thing that I store and the tag by which I can then recall it later is um, whatever was typed into the text box, whatever text was in the text box so that uh, will stick that into the database. Now what I'd quite like to do is have a way of accessing all of the different sounds that I've recorded. So I've created a new screen called recordings and what I'm going to have on this screen is a single list picker called list picker probably, list picker one. I've still got the database and I've got the player to play back my sound. So if I go into the blocks what I'm going to do is when I initialize this screen yep so when recordings this screen is initialized I am going to populate the list picker so I'm going to say set list picker dot elements to and I'm going to go get the values get all the tags from the database so if I'd typed in uh, sound 1 and then recorded the sound and then I'd change that to sound 2 and recorded a different sound this uh, list picker will show me sound 1, sound 2, whatever so that will actually, that works well, um, I've tested it so um, those will come up as, as a selection and then what I'm going to do is on the list picker when the list picker dot after picking I am going to play that sound, so player 1 um, I'm going to set the player 1 source to be a value from the database, get value and the tag is going to be whatever the list picker selection was so that's in here list picker dot selection so that's the name that it was stored under and this actually gets the value that was stored under that name that tag and then of course I'd play it uh, set call player one dot start there it is that'll do the job um, obviously there's a few other details it needs to be in place you probably want to have uh, a way of deleting the recordings as well one of the things is of course the tiny DB is persistent even when you stop the phone and restart it or whatever all the values stay in that database so you'd want to have some way of changing those values I'll leave that as an exercise for you to do enjoy